Are your games lagging? Or maybe they're skipping frames? Well, stick around and I'll show you how to boost that FPS. Hey everybody, welcome back to Live Gaming Network. I am GenX, and in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to boost your FPS in all your PC games. PC games are getting better and better every year, and the technology advancements are going along with them. The problem is that we can't afford to buy new computers every couple of months. So these new games are coming out, and we need to be able to teach our PCs to run properly with these new games in order to get the FPS that we want. So let me show you guys how to do this. If this video helps you out at all, do not forget to smash that like button and subscribe to my channel. I'm also live gaming on Twitch almost every day if you guys ever have a question for me or you just want to come and hang out and vibe. All right, let me show you how to do this. All right, for this video, I'm going to show you guys how to optimize 5M. This works for any game, but for this particular video, we're just going to concentrate on the program 5M. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on my game and then I'm going to right click on the name of the game. I'm going to go to properties. Once on properties, go to compatibility, go down and disable full screen optimizations, then change high DPI settings. Once you're on this screen, go ahead and click override high DPI scaling behavior and make sure that it's set on application. There'll be three options. Make sure it's set on application. Click OK, click apply, then click OK. All right, the next thing you're going to do, go down into search and type in GPU. And then click on your graphic settings. Once you're on this screen, make sure that your hardware accelerated GPU scheduling is turned on. Okay. Next, you're going to want to add the game that you are optimizing to this list down here. To do that, you'll click browse. Once you're on file explorer, you're going to have to locate your game. If you guys have any problems with this, feel free to hit up the comment section and I'll do my best to help you guys locate your game. Once you've located your games.exe file, go ahead and select it and add it. Once it's on the list, go ahead, click options and then select high performance, then click save. You can add any game you want to this list, you guys, as long as you have your hardware accelerated GPU scheduling on and you've added your game and selected high performance on options and saved it, then your game is now optimized to run with your GPU at an accelerated rate. All right, next you're gonna wanna go down to search and type in game mode, and then click on game mode settings. Once you're on this screen, go ahead and turn game mode on. This allows your windows to optimize your PC for gameplay. Once you've done that, go ahead and close the window. All right, the next thing you're gonna do is go down into the search and type in MS config and then click system configuration. Once you're on this screen, go ahead and click boot and then click advanced options. Up here, you wanna select number of processors. And then on this drop down, it'll show you exactly how many processors you have in total. And you wanna max that out. If you have eight, select eight. If you have four, select four, then click okay. Then go ahead and click on services and then hide all Microsoft services. On this screen, you guys wanna uncheck everything that is unnecessary to be running in the background of your computer. Make sure you don't turn off any of your NVIDIA or Intel Corporation or anything that has to do with your processor. So I have an Asus motherboard, so I'm not going to turn any of these off. And I have an Intel chip, so I'm not gonna turn any of these Intels off. Once you have unchecked all of the unnecessary programs running there, go ahead and click apply, click OK, and do not restart now. You can restart when you're done. Next, you guys are gonna go back down to the search and type in power plan, and then edit power plan. Once you're on this screen, go ahead and go back one to power options, and then go over here and create a power plan. You can name your plan whatever you want. I'm gonna name mine Max Performance. Select High Performance, then go ahead and click Next, click Create, and then close out the box. All right, once you're done with that, go ahead and go back down to Search and type in Background Apps, and select Background Apps. Once you're on this screen, you guys wanna turn off 
every single thing that you guys are not going to be using. Turn off all of the crap that you guys are not going to use and keep the selected things that you are going to use on. If you're looking to see for max performance, you can go ahead and disable this completely. When you're done, go ahead and close the window. When you're done with that, go ahead and open up your file explorer. Click on your local disk drive, then go back one to this PC, right click on your local disk drive, go down to properties, click on disk cleanup, then go ahead and close that window and this window. When you're on the disk cleanup window, go ahead and click on clean up system files. Once this screen is up, make sure that you guys have all of these boxes checked like I do, and then click OK. Then click delete files. Depending on how backed up your computer is, this might take a minute. All right, next you're gonna wanna go ahead and click File Explorer again. Go back to your local disk drive. Go back to this PC and right click on an open area in that window and click Properties. Once you're on this screen, you wanna go ahead and click Remote Settings and make sure that Allow Remote Assistance is turned off. If it's checked, uncheck it, click Apply, then click OK. Then click on Advanced System Settings and click on Performance Settings on the Advanced tab. Then go ahead and select Adjust for Best Performance. Click Apply, then click OK. You can go ahead and close both of these out now. Next, go ahead and go down and right click on your Start menu and select Run. Inside the Run window, you want to go ahead and open up Temp, T-E-M-P. Click OK. Once you're on this window, go ahead and select everything that's in here and delete it. If you get a message about folder access being denied, go ahead and do this for current items and select continue. Once that folder is empty, go ahead and close the window. Then go back down here and right click the start again. Click on run. This time it's going to be percentage temp percentage. Just like I have it right like that. Click OK. And then on this screen, you're going to want to delete everything in this box. Just select everything in the box and delete it. If you get a message that some of these files are in use, go ahead and click do this for all current items and click skip. Then go ahead and close out the window. Your final step is going to be right clicking on your recycle bin, empty your recycle bin. If you do not have access for something in your recycle bin, go ahead and click continue. And then the final step is to reboot your PC. Go down here, click power and restart. Well, that's it, you guys. It's as easy as that to boost your PC so you can get better frames per second in your video game. If this video helped you out at all, do not forget to smash that like button and subscribe to my channel. Remember, you guys, don't be toxic. Spread positivity. We'll see you next time.